Have you wondered how easy it would be if you could find the probability for this using your calculator? It's really easy. Trust me. Before we start solving problems, let me show you how to set the calculator first. All you need to do is turn on your calculator, press mode until you see SD, choose SD. In this case, I need to press 1. And that's it. We are set and ready to use it to find the probability in normal distribution. Let's say you wanted to find this area, the pink area here. This is the lower tail probability of a standard normal distribution graph. For lower tail probability, go to shift and press number 3. You can see DISTR and choose P. In this case, I would press number 1. This is for lower tail probability. This area would be represented by P. In the bracket, we have to key in the Z score. Our Z score here is 1.305. And that's it. Press equals to. And this is your answer. The probability of Z being less than 1.305 is 0 0.90405. Let's say you wanted to find the upper tail probability for the same thing. Now we are looking at this area right here. All you have to do is go to shift 3 and choose R. R is for upper tail probability. Press number 3. Once we've gotten there, then you just have to key in your Z score, which is 1.305. And you will get an answer of 0 0.09595. This is the probability of Z being greater than 1.305. Q is for any value from the Y axis to the Z score. For example, if we wanted to find this area here, between Z is 0 and Z is 1.305, then all you have to do is, again, go to Shift 3 and choose Q, number 2, and key in the Z score, 1.305. This is the probability, 0 0.40405. This is the probability of Z being in the range of 0 to 1.305. The same principle applies when Z score is negative as well. Let's try this example. Let's say we wanted to find the probability of Z being less than negative 1.238. This would be a lower tail probability on the left side. So we go to shift 3 and then choose P. Now we key in the Z value, negative 1.238, and you would get 0 0.10786. This is the probability of Z being less than negative 1.238. If we wanted to find the probability of Z being more than negative 1.238, same thing again. This time, we go to shift 3, go to R, because it is the right-hand side. It is the upper tail probability and we key in the value negative 1.238 and you will get a value of 0 0.89214. If you want to find the probability of Z being between negative 1.238 and 0, then we use Q. So again, go to shift 3, press number 2, so we get Q and now you key in the Z score, negative 1.238. You will get a value of 0 0.39214. What if we wanted to find the probability of Z being in a range but not from 0? There are two ways that we can do this. The first way is we take 1 which is the probability of the total area under the graph and we subtract the two areas on the left and the right. That would be 1 minus on the lower tail probability we have P. So choose P and key in the Z score that is negative 1.238, close the bracket. Now we want to subtract the upper tail side. So minus shift 3, 3 for R, and now we key in the Z score, that is 0 0.879. This will give us a value of 0 0.70244. There is another way that we can do this, and that is you can straight away choose the values from the Y axis to the Z score on both sides. That would mean we would choose, go to 3, go to 2, choose Q, key in the first Z score, negative 1.238, close bracket, and we add the positive side of the graph, that is 0 0.879.
and you will see that we get the exact same value 0.70244 if you've learned something from this video please do me a tiny favor and hit that like button it really does help a lot with the channel youtube will be showing this video to more people thank you very much for watching do share it with your friends i'll see you guys in the next video